Here's my neighbors right now, and he's getting his cows AI'd. And I thought it would be interesting. I'll try to get the vet to uh, discuss what he's doing and why. Right now on some of these they're putting what's called a cedar and it's uh, well I'll let him tell you what that is. <laughs> He dropped that gate down. I don't know exactly how it works. If you don't want her head in there. You mean get her head out, Doc? What's that? You mean get her head out? Can he run the heifers over on your sure. side for a yeah. while? I got way too much grass, yes. Answer yes. What was that? Okay. <laughs> he just didn't tell you the price. <laughs> I'll pay you. <laughs> I'll pay you. I don't want to mow. He said, he said he got way too much grass. Yeah, that's what he said. I got way too much grass. Yeah, I'm going to separate these out. This is Dr. Justin Cavett. He's a Hello, gang. Mo mobile veterinarian in East Texas. How far? How far around? What what counties do you cover in East Texas? Oh, probably about five surrounding counties. Say again. Say again. About the five surrounding counties around of, here. Of Smith. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit everywhere. And tell me again about that. CIRD. So, so what we're doing is putting an uh, intravaginal uh, progesterone implant in to help time AI or uh, get the timing down for artificial insemination. Okay. So um, we put these in, leave them in for a week, um, give them some hormone injections, we'll pull it out a week later and then we'll breed them um, a couple days after that to get them ready. So that way everything that we're doing is all synchronized and we're not having to wait on animals to come in on their own right. to be able to Put the insemination straws mm. in. Playing with hormones. <laughs> looks like a little wing. Okay, that's what it looks like? Yeah. Huh. Looks like that. Looks like a little gun. I should be wearing gloves, but I'm not. She does. He's, uh, we're, we'll put, we're running her through. And so then when we put it in, goes into the vaginal canal and that spreads open to keep it from coming out. And then when you want it out later on, out, you just pull just, the string. Just pull the string huh. and pull the string. Did you reach red and this be, can be done whether you're ai or whether you just want to sink your cows with a bull, correct? Yes, if you're just sinking with the bull, you really don't need to do this, but you can. You don't need to do this. Well, she does good. Yes. Oh, 
know if she was facing that way. This one's a heifer. None of these had names, Justin. No? <laughs> I guess. If you name your cows, price doubles. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, maybe you start being princesses and, princesses and sweet peas. <laughs> yeah. We started having to lead them through the chute with range cues yeah. and all that. <laughs> and we'll put heat patches on them next week, too. Okay. And what does that tell you exactly on the heat patch? They're getting ridden. Okay. I mean, it's not really going to make a difference if we breed them or not, but I'd like to see at least that they're... Yeah. So, the, would the patch change its color or something? Or? Really? Yeah, when they ride each other, the patch off. It's kind of like a lotto ticket. <laughs> Changes color. <laughs> you're, you're a winner. <laughs> winner, winner, chicken. Yeah, that's right. Bull's a winner, I guess. <laughs> the cow, I guess. Man, Always. Nobody you're, you're looking at. Right? Somebody wins. So, that's right. so. All right. I'll uh, when I go take those uh, the three mama cows, I'll pick up the uh, season that we're going to use. It's going to be on. going to be in the paint. But yeah. Is there anything special we need to do? Just make sure we got enough liquid nitrogen to. Yeah. Usually when they, cheap. I mean, there's enough charge in those tanks for a week or two. Yeah, yeah I've got a 16 week tank, so I'm we're not going to put up. Oh, you got a big tank. Yeah, no, it's, we get plenty of time. Okay. And then you have experiments with your kids with liquid nitrogen after the fact. Yeah, we've done that already. We <laughs> can rebrand some stuff. Or, oh, yeah, we could do that. Do whatever you want. Okay. If you're going to freeze brand stuff, you might as well use it instead of pouring it out. Yeah, that's true. I, I haven't checked into that yet. Yeah. Freeze, freeze brand on some of the lighter colored cows. It's a little challenging, huh? I mean, if you're doing it on a white cow, yeah, but. Yeah. Red or black or darker gas. Yeah. I don't know. Just need nitrogen and alcohol. Yeah. Or liquid uh, alcohol and dry ice. You yeah. Know? That's like a specific or special brand? brand? Yeah. Copper. Copper. Either copper or stainless. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can't use a regular iron brand. Mm -hmm. It won't, uh, doesn't penetrate enough, enough cold heat okay. to do it. So, yeah, either a copper tip or a stainless steel. Okay. Good to know. How long is it? Do you hold the freeze brand on like it work? Uh, light color cows is about 20 seconds. Darker cows is a little shorter. Right. Only had one. Than 30, I think. Only had one freeze brand on, on my bull one time. Yeah. I was using my regular iron. Yeah. And a vet was doing it. And I didn't, I didn't think he was ever going to quit holding it on there. I mean, it, it just wouldn't penetrate. I guess I was just They just don't get, they don't get cold enough. Right. This whole hind quarter was cold. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to do it long. And, and uh, copper ones, you have to do shorter. Stainless, you got to do a little bit longer. It depends on the material. But okay. And it takes six weeks for it to kind of slip off and come out and turn white. Okay. All right. Um, I mean, I can put my brand on them if you want. <laughs> <laughs> we might play around with that in the future. Uh, uh, some, of the, some of the darker, the darker ones. We'll have some light ones running around here before too long, maybe. Yeah. Um, the other thing I was going to ask you on the AI, do you use one straw or two straws? I typically put in two. Okay. Uh, just depends on what you want to do. I mean, you, you, do, you double your money, double the chances, but you're paying double. Right. Well, uh, on my cows, I put in two. Most stuff I put in two. But I mean, if you're talking $500 straws, yeah. it gets a little pricey. Yeah. We'll use two on mine. Okay. Yeah, we'll play on that. Yeah, I usually put two in. 
Let's go. I think any more than that's a waste. Yeah. But if you're already putting one in, you might as well just put it in two strokes. Okay. Yeah, I've heard different things on it. So I figured out that's consistent. All yeah. right. That's what I do, but I'm not that smart. So. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty funny. All right. Well, y'all gentlemen have a lovely day. All right. You too. You too.